Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? To Armadillo! Godspeed! What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! My God! Then come back and finish me off! We're doomed to get out that horse! Sometimes. Still, at least I met you, the good Samaritan in Wolf's clothes. I don't believe it! More! You ready to die, friend? Come on, don't stop! I'm begging you! I can't take much more of this! We must hurry! I knew you'd come. What? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. You're delirious or plain dumb, friend. Fate brought you to my aid. Why else are you helping me? Look at you. Somebody needed to. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! Oh, be out! I implore you to please stay on the road! Please drive carefully. Every bump is like getting struck by lightning. Stop moaning, old man. You'll be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath for breathing. Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Take We're nearly me there. Into your arms. <laughs> you need more than a doctor, my friend. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh. where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for.
<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Believe you me. Don't even think of me. Me. Stay away from old Ma Fowler's laxative powders from now on. Greetings. Why, hello there. There's treasure buried out by Rio Del Rio. I know it. Strong liquor! Boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed Bunko artist I've never met. How are the McFarlands, John? They're holding on, but that ranch is in trouble. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. such a thing. Any number of people, especially now the words out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. How can somebody murder innocent people like that? Kill a man the first time and it haunts you for days. 
Keep killing and soon it don't haunt you no more at all. Not partial! More vultures! We best take a look, boys. Shoot that door open.